What is going on guys? Drew with Profit Monsters. It's freezing cold outside and I am actually on a new camera baby, a GoPro 8 sent in to me by my friends Dean and Melinda at Hustlin' Hooks. Shout out to you guys. I have no idea why you felt I was so deserving of this camera, but thank you so much. I'm really excited to use it and we are at the flea market. So let's see if we can find anything, baby. All right, I got my Ikea bag here. How big? How, mu how much are you asking on this one? Um, 15? 15. Paid for some of them? You'd be like, get out of here. <laughs> I got one that's a ha it's a bulldog, like he's riding a Harley. Oh wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool, yeah. I guess. That's really cool. How much do you got on the old Polaroid? I'll do six bucks. Six bucks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just making sure that I don't spill any water for you. A few more, okay. Sir? What's your price on this uh, Steelers windbreaker? Five. Okay. Can you break a twenty? Really like to be at 20 for both of them. Oh, could you call him? Uh, he's working right now. All right, I'm dropping off another load at the car. As you guys can see, I already dropped off one load. I got that guest denim jacket, vintage Bills hat, two PlayStations, a 1974 Play School toy. I think it's Play School, and then a bunch of Revere wear pots and pans. I ended up picking up those Notre Dame jackets for $25 for both because I think. I can get probably 70 or so for just this one. And then this one I'll make my money back probably about 30, maybe 35 plus shipping on that one. Cause there's a lot of those listed, but it's a good size. They're both double, one's XL, one's double XL. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a random question? If you had to put a price on your jacket, how much would you sell it for? So right here guys, I was obviously asking this guy if he would sell the Dolphins jacket off his back. 
and he had like a speech impediment, so I didn't want to put that in the recording, but I offered him 15 bucks. He said no, and then I offered him 20 bucks, and he's politely said no, I don't think so. He wanted to keep it, which I gladly respected, but I had to do the off the back challenge and just give it a shot. So uh, zero for one on the off the back challenges, but it was fun. All right, guys, so I'm still getting used to this GoPro and I don't have a whole lot of battery left. So note to self, bring some extra batteries when I'm recording from now on. Head over to a Goodwill that's right down the street and maybe find some stuff there. Had a really good time at the flea market today, found some good stuff. I will show you the whole haul once I get home. So not much to look at here. Got some old Nike shocks, 1999, small size. Not really anything in the clothing section. I did find this size medium Creed shirt with the long sleeve hit. That's about it. I guess I can show you this one too. America, home of the free, land of the brave. Of course we have lots of loud music playing inside of Goodwills, but I came across this Sony Mega Storage 200 CD player. And uh, these are a great bolo if you guys have never heard of them. They are made in the 2000s. They can hold 200, 300, or 400 CDs depending on the model. This one was only $12.99 and the comps are looking pretty good between about 100 to 125. I just got home and laid out the spread. So let me show you everything I picked up in no particular order and we'll go over the whole haul because I didn't get everything on the GoPro because it died about three quarters of the way through everything I was doing. So in no particular order, we are going to start right here. This was actually my first pickup. So I guess it isn't a particular order. This is a vintage Guess George uh, Marciano, Georges Marciano denim jacket. And I got this with a couple of other things and I paid $25 for all of it. So you will see, um, I got that jacket and then these two PlayStation 2s over here. I got those and there's a Volcom jacket sitting on there that was included in the bundle. So I got two PlayStations, the denim jacket and the Volcom jacket for 25. Here was a really nice Pittsburgh Steelers pullover. I paid five for that. Probably my favorite two finds of the day. Um, definitely not the most profitable though, which you'll see in a minute. I got both of these vintage starter Fighting Irish Notre Dame jackets, and these are really cool. This one has a really nice graphic on the front, um, or the color, I guess you could say, with like the anorak style with the with the pocket. And uh, both of them are hooded. Uh, this one is not removable hood, and this one does have a removable hood with the starter logo, the Notre Dame logo, and the huge Fighting Irish guy on the front. This one I'm really excited about because I can't find another one like it online on eBay, Depop, anywhere. So I'm thinking I might be able to get about 100 for this one and probably 30 to 35 for this one, which will make me my money back. I paid 25 for both, which I thought was a really good deal. They're both great sizes. Uh, this one's an XL and this one's an XXL. And then this one doesn't have anything on the back but the little starter logo, but still a really nice find. Then over here at that same booth uh, that I got those two from that you don't, didn't see in the footage, I got this reversible Mac Tools uh, working employee mechanic jacket, whatever you want to call it. Pretty cool. And you can switch it. It says Mac Tools on the inside of the zipper there. So, and I got that with this Pepsi sweater. Um, I just thought this was kind of cool. It'll be a nice little store filler, probably a 10 or $15 piece, not much. Uh, but I paid $7 for this and the Mac jacket. So overall at that one lady's booth, I ended up paying $32 and I'll make that back on, on just one, the, the cheaper starter jacket. All right, moving on. I found a couple shoes at Goodwill and, um, I kind of guess you could say I was real chintzy with shoes today. I had probably three times as many shoes, but I put them back from price. I'm being a lot pickier now, but I got these Salomons. These are the, uh, model number somewhere. I can't remember right there. XA Pro. Great colorway, great size, great condition. These were 9 dollars 
these Birkenstock Berkies. I forget the model name, but I'll put it up as a screenshot right here for you guys to see. Um, there's not a whole lot of comps on this particular model, but I'm thinking I could probably turn 35 or 40 bucks. Um, and I just bought them because Birkenstocks sell fast. Now these are interesting, these Asics Jelkinzies, uh, Jelkinzy 5s, or Kensai, I don't know how to say it, Sensei, Kensei, Kensei something. Um, there was only one other listed of this same model, and they were listed for $74.99 plus shipping. So I should easily get 50 bucks out of those, and I paid $7.99. And then Reebok CrossFit, um, I got these, and I paid $7.99 for them as well at the same Goodwill as the Berkeys and the Asics. And CrossFit shoes just sell really well for $35 to $40. It's kind of like a bread and butter piece. Pendleton Baby, I don't find this very often, and this isn't one of the super rare ones. Uh, but it's just a nice uh, plaid button-up shirt. I should be able to pull probably 25 to 30 bucks out of that, and I paid $5 for it. And then at one of the Goodwills, I found this Creed um, band tee. It has uh, got the weathered, I guess it's a tour or something that they did. And this is a size medium. It's kind of like a little mullet on the front, uh, and that means it's got like a small graphic on the front, big graphic on the back, and there is a weird tag streamline clothing so i thought that was kind of cool size medium uh not the greatest size but i should still be able to sell it creed is pretty popular and then last on the clothing is this tennessee titans uh puma quarter zip i just thought the spell out was cool on the side and the titans have been doing pretty good football wise so um i think i can resell this pretty easily nice little fleece pullover right there Coming over here, I uh, shout out to my buddy on Instagram, Salty Spittoon Vintage. We actually were in the same thrift store and didn't see each other, and he found this Guitar Hero guitar for $7.99. These sell pretty quickly for me for about 40 bucks, and uh, so he threw it my way, and I paid him $10 for it, for scooping it. And so, yeah, shout out to you, my homie. Uh, he actually lives right down the street from me, so pretty cool. Again, the Playstations, um, I got a PS2 Slim without any power cable. So I guess that's a risk, but I got the PS2, the PS2 Slim, the controller, and the guest jacket for 25 bucks. You can't really go wrong. Um, so that was a pretty good find there. I got a set of 10-inch dumbbells at one of the thrift stores I was at, and I paid $7.99 for the pair. And these are selling for about $45 to $50 free shipping on eBay. They should be able to fit in a medium flat rate box for like 12 bucks. Won't be a lot of profit, but it should be a quick flip because uh, dumbbells and hand weights sell really fast. Next is this um, toy right here. It's like one of those house model things. I honestly don't know. It's uh, Hasbro. It's really hard to get to focus, but you can see it's 1974, made in the USA. I think it's Little People or one of those types of models. There's a model number on the bottom. I'll post a screenshot of it right here for you guys to see because I haven't looked it up yet, but I actually got it in a bundle with all of this hashtag pots and pans. Shout out Hustlin' Hooks. I got all this vintage Revere wear uh, pots and pans. I got like basically two full sets and they are in like excellent condition. Sup y'all. Um, but I got two of the bigger pots. I got two quart pots. I got one quart pots. Most all of them have lids except for this one right here, which I'm totally okay with. And they're all in excellent condition with lids. I should probably be able to pull well over 200 to $250 for everything here. And I paid 80 for the whole lot, which I think was very fair, especially at a flea market. The guy who was at that booth knew what they were worth. And I talked him down from 100 to 80 and that was thrown into the deal. So up here at the flea market, I managed to find a couple pretty cool hats. This Stone Cold Steve Austin is one of my favorites right here. I paid $5 for this. Actually, I got this. These three hats right here, the Magic, Jurassic Park, and Stone Cold for $25 at one booth. Um, and this Magic one is leather, uh, which is really cool. And it's almost dead stock, I would say, like it's never been worn. It's in really good condition. Now, the Stone Cold Steve Austin one is dead stock. Check out this tag, guys. Kmart, $7.99. And the WWF or WWE tag on the inside is dated 1998. And then uh, got this vintage Buffalo Bills hat at the flea market for a dollar. It needs a little love, but it's super old, probably early 90s, and uh, should sell really well. 
uh, given the circumstances of the playoffs right now. Sony uh, CD players, if you don't know about these, they're a bolo. This one is a little bit on the cheaper end of them because it's only the 200 CD mega storage, whereas a lot of the 300s and the 400s go well over $200. This one I paid $12.99 at Goodwill, and I should be able to get about $125 for it. There's the model CDP CX235. Last two finds of the day, guys. I'm really excited about both of these. These are going to be the most profitable items I will sell. This is a Funai DVD VCR recorder. Um, and there's the model right there, ZV427FX4, with remote and manual, as you saw. And I paid $40 for this. And let me pop up the comps right, pop up the comps right here for you guys. They are absolutely crazy. Probably in the two to three hundred dollar range for this item. And uh, maybe more with the manual and remote, we'll see. But really excited about that. And if you guys know me, you know I haven't had much luck with printers. So I am taking a risk on this because it was really cheap and it was like original in the box, open box, new open box. It is a Lexmark Pro 901. And again, I'll pop up the comps right here for you guys to see. But I should be able to pull somewhere between $175 to $200 if I remember correctly. Um, obviously you're seeing the comps now after I post up the screenshot, but it was like brand new in the box. Uh, I still had like the clear plastic wrap on it and I paid $24.99 for this. So all in all, I got a lot of really good stuff today. I've been getting a lot pickier, so I'm super happy with what I found and what I paid for everything. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed coming to the flea market with me and some thrift stores. I got some really good stuff. Make sure to leave a like on this video for me as well. It helps the channel out greatly. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one. Peace money!